welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, we have a haul. We have a pretty nice size haul. It's a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of fall, a lot of uh, decor, and I want to share it with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want to share is this piece of art. I purchased it from Home Goods. It was $59.99. Let me get it. Just want to get it and get it out the way. So here is the piece of art. It was $59.99 at Home Goods. And I wanted to, they only have one. I really wanted to put it in this space. And these are kind of the colors that I'm going for. A little bit of taupe, beige, cream, gold, silver, and bronze. So all of that in that same color family. Um, this picture was $59.99 at Home Goods. Before I get too far into this video, I want to share a few of the items that I shared in a recent bedroom redecorating. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description as well as an iCard. I'm just going to share some of the items I purchased from home goods and targets for the bedroom down the hall. So the first thing I wanna share is this throw. It was $39.99 at home goods. It's made by UGG and it's, it's pretty, it's that taupe color that I'm going for. Now, I have had a lot of questions about where do I get my pillows? A lot of times from home goods. See a lot of dust from that throw. This one was $34.99. I purchased two of them and it is from that Callisto home and it's a 24 by 24 and it's really pretty it has those browns gold bronze and a little bit of i guess taupe it's really pretty so i got two of these from home goods 35 dollars one of the things i forgot to mention was where i got this base i do have another gold one and this one was $39.99 from Home Goods, and it is a metal, and it looks kind of silver on camera, but it is a really pretty gold. So this was in the bedroom that I just redid. $39.99 Home Goods. The other things I got, and I did share them, were these little trinket boxes. They're from the Heart and Hand Collection, and this one was $9.99. And this one was $14.99. And I just have them on the nightstand. And they're really cute and simple. Love them. They can even go in here if we wanted to use them in here. Now, the other thing I picked up was this decorative box. Really cute. $24.99 at Home Goods. I've seen them at Z Gallery. I do have a link for the ones at Z Gallery. And I think they're on sale now. So they have the large one and this size. So if you're interested in it, look for the link in the description. Got this one from Home Goods. Okay, so that's all of the items that I shared in the, the bedroom down the hall. Now I wanna share one of the items I said I didn't need anymore unless I found this one and I found it and it is a ginger jar. So let me share it with you. I have the gold one with the holes in it or decorative, I would say like floral look to it with the holes. And I have the white one or cream color one that's like this one, but I had to have it. $79.99, I think my gold one I paid $100 for and I may have even paid $100 for my cream one, but this one had a tag on it for $79.99, so I could not walk away from it. I had to get it, $79.99 at Home Goods. All right, I also got this trinket box. It was $7.99 at Home Goods. I do have the black one. I did have this cream one. I think it'll not look nice on a nightstand on a shelf. It was just a little simple box, entry weight, something like that. We can just set it right here for now. Before I go any further, you may wanna grab me something to sip on because this is a pretty long haul and I'm just going to try to make it through as quickly as I can, but give you enough information for you if it's something you're looking for, so. All right, so since we're on the boxes, the other thing I picked up was this other trinket box 
and I felt it would go good in the same neighborhood or room as these trinket boxes. And this one was from Home Goods. It was $14.99. And they're putting these types of things out right now. So you'll see a lot of the golds and bronzes out and even um, just the colors that'll warm up any space. So this one, $14.99 at Home Goods. I thought about putting it on my husband's nightstand. He loves the one that we have on there now, but it's blue and it's a little bit bigger. So I may be able to get by with something this size because he does add, he, he put his watch in it at night, his glasses. So these make great nightstand and just trinket boxes throughout your home, just like the this one as well. Now let's get back into the vases. So this vase and this vase, I purchased them separate, two different home goods. One was $24.99 and the other one was $24.99. So this one is a pretty silver or grayish looking silver. And this one is a pretty gold. So those warm colors that I just mentioned. All right, so my little outfit I have on today is from Kohl's. Just simple tank and some little linen pants and it's a cognac looking color. All right, so I'm going to share some items that I got in the mail from some uh, sponsors. I have three collaborations that I'm going to share and there are some really good items. So the first thing is from Sam's Club. It says, hello, thank you for being a part of Sam's Club Influencer Program. We know you'll love our member smart, cozy knit throw and hope you share a way on your favorite social platform which everyone knows YouTube is my favorite platform. Our cozy knit throws are available in 25 variations on samsclub.com. So here is the first one they sent. And it's really, 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 really soft. This is my first time opening it. And here it is, it's a really nice size. Yeah, so this is really pretty. And I'm going to probably use it upstairs in the guest bedroom upstairs, the one with the gray in it. So yeah, really soft, really, really soft. It's, it kind of puts you in the mind of those fuzzy socks, the ones I like to wear when I'm cleaning up, yeah. The other one, And I'm going to give it to my daughter. So I'll leave it in the packaging. But these make a great gift too. So head over to Sam's Club. I'll leave the link in the description for these. They're really pretty soft. And like I said, it kind of reminds you of those fuzzy socks. So Bobble Bar reached out to me and I selected a few items from them. And I, 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 I must say, I am very impressed with their blankets. This is a personalized blanket from Bobble Bar. You can get your name put on it, initials, whatever you want. And of course, I got our last name on it. So pretty. Going to probably use it in our bedroom or the guest bedroom. But of course, it's that color. It takes about two weeks for them to make it. Now, let me share with you the jewelry they sent me. So... I like to stack my jewelry, my necklaces, my bracelets. So I got two bracelets, two necklaces, and I'll put a picture of all of them. And I got a set of earrings. So the bracelet and the earrings came with a little jewelry bag, as you can see here. So I'll open this one up. Jewelry bag says the bobble bar. I do want to thank Sam's Club for gifting me the two blankets as well as Bobble Bar for my personalized blanket and jewelry. So without further ado, let's move on to the next item, which is still in the fabric. A blanket, and I love these blankets from Overstock because they are oversized. And I have a pretty tall mattress, so it's going to work perfectly this is the camel color i have been trying to get this color for a while 
um, back when I got the gray one for my bedroom and back when I got the tan one for the guest bedroom or the cream color one. So they have the camel color in stock. They finally had it in stock. This is what you would call the honeycomb design. I do have a link for this. It is oversized and it's going in our primary bedroom. So this is one of the colors we are working with for this fall, along with the taupe and the black. And I'm going to show you how that is going to look. With all of that being said, I picked up this pillow. They had three of them and I went back to get them. And I saw them, I was like, surely nobody wants this color. And obviously they did and they purchased two. So I need maybe one or two more for our bedroom. And it is a match. It's a match. It is a match with this overstock blanket and this pillow. And this is a Kalisto home pillow. It was $29.99. So let me show you what I'm going for. I'll show you this first. So here's the other pillow. I'm almost sure I have two of these pillows. They only have one. It was $34.99. I did pick it up and it looks really good with this. So if I have two, that's going to be perfect with this. So, and I'll show you where I'm going. Now I went to the fabric store and I picked up this fabric tape and they only had about, I would say two yards. I only got a yard. It was $17 a yard just for the tape. There was another one I kind of liked but this one looks so much better. Isn't that pretty? Don't you see where I'm going? So I can just sew this on myself or tack it on myself. And we just glammed up and dressed up this pillow with this fabric tape. I'm going to add that to that. Now, let me show you the other thing I picked up. Now they only have one set of these drapes and they were $39.99 and they are 96 inches so they'll work perfectly in my bedroom so you see where we're going here okay so i love that it even looks good with the taupe i don't have a taupe pillow right beside me but i can use this as an example and hey we can even use this hey but there is a couple of more things that I picked up at this fabric store. So we got that from Home Goods, $39.99. And we picked up this fabric from the fabric store. And it's enough to make two pillows. I, I went with, I think a half a yard, three quarters of a yard. So it's enough to make two pillows with a different back or one 24 inch pillow with the same back. So I think I'm going to do one, a different backing, like a cream color backing, just because this fabric was pretty expensive. I think it was $35 a yard. I can't remember, $29.95 a yard. And I only got three quarters of a yard. I'm going to make my pillows, I think. You know, I made some before and they turned out really good. The zipper placement, getting that corner and I'll take a zipper and go all the way across the bottom of <laughs> I will take the zipper and go all the way to across the bottom of that 24 inch pillow. So maybe I, I may just take them to the guy that normally makes my pillows. So. I got this, so you see this and this, but this isn't going in my bedroom. I don't think this is going in my bedroom. The plan wasn't for it to go in here. So we got that. Then I also picked up this. This is really pretty. I don't know where it's going because it's kind of like that orangey looking color. I may put it in the guest room upstairs, make a couple of pillows out of it. Now I did get enough of this to make two pillows as well or originally i thought about putting it on a stool just for some color but i don't know we'll see but i love this and it was it was like 35 dollars a yard so i got that this is a really pretty cut velvet
And let me show you the other fabric that I got. I also got this fabric. I did the gray a few years ago, but this color is so popping. It's really expensive. It's like $45 a yard. I originally wanted some to reupholster some chairs, but here's the thing. They had this fabric in the same fabric store some years ago and it was $27 and now it is $45. That's how popular it is, number one. And plus, of course, we know the price of everything is going up. So it's now $45. So this is what we're looking and working with. These are my colors. Yeah, this is it. So even with just this, if I find one more pillow, then I'll still put this band across it. And then of course, hey, this is it. So this is for our primary bedroom, okay? All right, I also wanna share these pictures with you all. They were $29.99 each, and I got them from Home Goods. As you can see there, they're bright gold, and it's almost like it's a, I would say, more of a bronzy looking gold. Really pretty. $29.99 at Home Goods. I'm going to add them to the bookshelf. I wanted to show a closer up picture because these are shadow boxes. One has the brown background and the other one has more of a gold. So let's go ahead and get into the fall and kitchen items. So the first thing I wanna share are these bath bombs. I got two packages of these that were $5.99. I like the size of them. And they are the Sweet Pumpkin Latte. And remember when I shared these little glass bases as you can see they fit perfectly and i just dropped some in here i keep my bath salts in them but i was like perfect for putting my bath bombs in them too so these are 5.99 at home goods and they fit perfectly into my little um glass base i got these from amazon i'll share the link to these for anyone who's interested you. I just wanted to share that with y'all before I forgot because I absolutely love those glass jars. I use them for my salt and now I use them for my bath bombs. So let's go ahead and get into these pumpkins. I said I was not going to buy pumpkins this year and I may have this particular one already. It is so pretty. It's that gray and gold and it was $12.99 at Home Goods. Okay, you see that? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now I got this one to go in the kitchen. It was $12.99 at Home Goods. Real pretty. Black and white. Of course, you know I have a few uh, black and white vases going on in there. Actually, ginger jars in the kitchen. And yeah. Okay. So we got that. I also picked up these pumpkins from Home Goods. They were $12.99 each. Now they did have three when I got these, but I decided to only get two because I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more. I do have the black ones just like these from Home Goods last year. And I tried to find the price. I think they were either $9.99 or $12.99 last year. But like I said, I have the black and the cream one from last year. And this kind of goes into the colors that I'm doing this year. Okay, I also picked up this little tray. It was $16.99 from Home Goods. And you can use it for cheese or your desserts, dry desserts, and it was $16.99 at Home Goods. We're getting ready for those fall tablescapes and dinner arrangements and all of that. So I felt like that was cute. It'll go with some of the others that I have when I do my food display. So $16.99 at Home Goods, and I love the shape of it. Real simple, real simple. Now, the other thing I picked up were these little spoon holders when you're cooking, $4.99, and they say, Hello Pumpkin on the little tag. So they make great little gifts. So if you're going to somebody's house for dinner, hey, this will make a nice little uh, little thank you gift for, for the invitation. So $4.99 at Home Goods, and these were for me, although they make great gifts. So got those, and they that's a good look of them. So I also went to Target and I picked up this 
little cup. It was $3 from the $5 below area. And also this little pumpkin sugar um, cup from Target. And it was $3 as well. And I do have some little pumpkin or gourds. Uh, salt and pepper shaker. I use them in my coffee area for for cinnamon and nutmeg or brown sugar. So I may I don't use a lot of sugar, so I may just use this for my matcha, and it has a little spoon for it as well. The other thing I picked up from Target, I have one of these already. I went and got another one because I want to use it for cookies. I'm using it on my coffee area in my coffee area for my coffee for my uh, Nespresso pods. So I'm going to put just a small stack of cookies in here. One pack should be enough. I see a lot of people do the tall ones and they fill it up and I wonder, do they ever make it to the bottom? I'm pretty sure we'll make it to the bottom of one pack. It may take us a while, but one pack is going to be enough and I'm going to put that in the kitchen area. I don't know if I shared these before, but these are napkin napkins. They were $7.99. They're the Cynthia Rowley and they're the gray, black, and gold. And I found these plates. It's been a while. So some of this stuff, it's probably been a month or so since I've purchased them and I'm just getting around to doing this haul. So that is why it's such a big haul. But these plates are beautiful. And keep in mind, I have this Greek key theme going all the way through the house. I have the pillows already in the hearth room. I have some upstairs in the guest bedroom as well as the Greek key wallpaper. If you haven't seen that video, please look in the description for it. But this has that, have that Greek key on it. So these are really pretty. Make a nice tablescape for fall or any time of the year. So we'll probably be incorporating a um fall tablescape bed a lot of times i use my house to let y'all know what's going on in the house and i thought i had a table ordered but they discontinued it i'll probably share a picture of it of the two options i had one is made by bassett the other one's made by bernhardt and both of them i absolutely love i do like the bassett one more although it was i don't think it was able to extend the burn hard you can extend. I think the part I didn't like was the color. I don't know what we're going to do over there, but for now we still have a table. It's just that I'm ready for a new table. So back to the plates, $5.99. I did get a set of eight of these. So these were $7.99 and this one $5.99 at Hunger's. Eight of these, two packages of these, which gives me a total of eight napkins this candle i got another candle too and i'm not into <laughs> i don't really like spicy pumpkin and all of that but it does smell warm and i like the cookie fragrances more but i love this one it smells so good so and i like the color of the the glass of course you know i like the 96 candles that has the gold um label on it it's like a metal label so i got this one from home goods it was 12.99 can't wait to burn it we're gonna light that one up i also picked up these floral stems it's um i think they're two sets 16.99 perfect for fall they're like a i would say a really dark brown between brown and black the color of them so we got two sets of these Still in that same theme color. So yeah, we got these. And I think that is all the fall other than like my cleaning stuff. We'll leave that where it is. All right, the other thing I picked up was this book in. They only had one. There was a lady checking out and she had the other one. So I'm pretty sure she didn't see this one because I had it. $16.99 at Home Goods, and they do sell them at Z Gallery. I saw them at Z Gallery. They only have the silver. I'll leave the link to it in the description, but it's going on the bookshelf, and these are the colors we're working with, the bronzes, the golds, the silvers, black, and cream. So perfect. You see where I'm going color-wise? Yeah, that is that. Okay. 
I think that is all of the the core items. Now I want to share with y'all just some items I picked up from Amazon and probably Home Goods as well. But I'm getting ready to start back getting organized. I started and stopped, but let me share some of the items I purchased. The first thing I want to share in my kitchen area or in one of my Amazon finds is I got this 48 glass set of canisters. It came with all the labels you could possibly need and here is the glass jar it also came with the little sifter or whatever you call it, the pour thing and a marker so it had all of these are pre-made pre-labeled it has the the ones that go on the side of the jar as well as the, the little stickers that are round that goes on the top so I already started putting my seasonings into the spice jars. And I have a lot of seasoning, y'all, a lot. So that's really why I wanted to use these jars to take them out of my cabinet so I can have more cabinet space. But to my surprise, it don't even look like I put a dent in my cabinet. In, in my cabinet. So I'm going to show you all a glimpse of that. But I really like the way these are. And part of the issue is a lot of my friends, well, I'll say maybe two or three of my friends, they always pick up seasoning and say, I brought, I saw this seasoning, you might like it and bring it to me. So I still have a lot of seasoning that I don't, I haven't put in jars because otherwise I think all of my pullout drawers will be full of seasoning, but I'll show you. So, so far I, I put all of them, just about all of them, I filled all of these up. This is two, four, five. This is six. One of them was broken. And I think I got four that are in the drawer. I just haven't put seasoning in them. And I still have a lot of seasoning to go. So once I get all of this organized, I'm going to pretty much use the seasoning that I have in the cabinet. So eventually, by this time next year, <laughs> I'll be through with all of the seasoning that is in my cabinet and we'll be just using the ones that are in the drawer. And I really do have that many. And I do cook a lot, I used to, but I do love to cook. I just don't like going to the grocery store. And I did get the expandable tray. So it was two in a pack and they, uh, this is just one of them because I have one in place. I was trying to see if I could just use the seasonings and not this tray but this tray really does hold them in place. It was meant, I think, to go this direction, but because of the width of my drawer, I had to put it in this direction. And I would lose a lot of space if I stacked them going this way. So it's about that much space between the one shelf or the one, uh, I guess you can call it a shelf, and the end of the cabinet so you'll see when i show you that i ended up just putting two large containers of seasoning on each side of the drawer and it stops it from moving this way so it can also go this direction but i don't get as many seasonings in it so this this is is needed if you have these jars the other thing I picked up was this 28 egg bin. I have one that holds, I think, 18 eggs, but I always buy two cartons of eggs or I'll buy 24 packs. So I needed this one and it was, I think, $9.99 at Home Goods. So got that. Now there's a little gap between my refrigerator and my air fryer, and I have my oils there and my salt and pepper shaker. And I always have to reach to the back over something. So I decided to get this Lazy Susan. It's really pretty. From Home Goods, it was $14.99. It's really heavy. And I got this to go right in that little space. So I'm going to use that there. Well, let me share this with you since we were talking about the kitchen. This is a fly insect trap. I would say right after we put in our new garbage disposal. I noticed some gnats and I don't know if the gnats were coming from that or if it was coming from 
our uh, plant because you know some plants will cause you to have some gnats but it wasn't a lot of gnats but it was enough I know there's a lot of tricks out there for gnats and flies and things like that but this worked Zemo flying insect trap I'll leave a link to it in the description because there was one fly we had a um, little get together in the backyard and it was a fly in here I tried my best to, to get it I was like don't worry at the end of the night Zevo got you. So when the lights go out, it's like a blue light and it, I guess the fly goes to it or the insect goes to it and it sticks to the pad. So this works. It works. Sharika B. She shared this on her TikTok and I saw it. And my husband said, you just ordering stuff. But y'all, I hate the container. That's why I don't ever leave my um, Clorox wipes out. But I did pick up this Clorox wipe container. Sharika B. Thank you, honey. I needed this. So um, I ordered it. I've had it for quite a while. I've been waiting to share it with y'all. But it's, it's just a Clorox wipe holder. So got that. I can't remember how much it was, but... I'll share the description. Thank you, Sharika, for putting me on this. And I came across this little spray. <laughs> this is this is like a aerosol sprayer. It's continuous, so you can either use it for gardening or disinfecting or the Dawn spray. You can make it. So you know, with the Dawn spray, all you need to do is put. Uh, a little bit of the Dawn and alcohol, a little water, and put it in here. Or you can just take your Dawn spray and put it in here, and you'll have this wherever you want it. So I found that to be cute and cool. So I ordered that. I can also just fill it up with water and spray my plants, but I think I'm going to use it for Dawn. So I got that from Amazon as well. Oh, also. I forgot about these. Blue Blocker sent me these sunglasses and they sent three different colors, three different pair. And these are the white ones and the UV on them is really good. So this is one pair. Oh my gosh. I wish, let me see if I can turn it around and you'll see how I see. If I put the, that over the lens. <laughs> can you see the visual on that? I don't know. Two black and one white. And they come with the little bags. No, I got a brown or black. And these are cute. Cute. And I got the black ones. I think I got these for my husband. And I got the tortoise brown looking color ones and these are for him these are a little darker than these so yeah we have all three pair and this is how they look on the side and that's the front i also picked up this shelf clock i got it from amazon it is battery operated and you just set it on your shelf like that that's it so we got that and that's it. Well, thank you Sam's Club, Blue Blocker and Bobble Bar for gifting me those gifts. I'll leave links to everything I share with you in the description. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.